So Trudeau has been doing his best to crush the Canadian economy for the better part of a decade now. And because the economy is bad because of him, he's had to come up with a very Trudeau solution. Raise taxes. <laughs> what else is he going to do? And if you haven't noticed by now, everything that he does makes everything worse. Here's the headline. Trudeau's massive capital gains tax increase passes parliamentary vote. Poliev, that's the leader of the Conservative Party in Canada, calls it the definition of insanity. And what else is new? Let's hear what uh, Pierre had to say about it. Nine years ago, the Prime Minister promised that taxing and spending more would make everything fair. Since then, Canada's had the worst growth in the G7, the worst in Canada's history since the, the Great Depression. Housing costs have doubled, rising faster than any other G7 country. So 76% of youth believe they'll never be able to afford a home. One in 10 people are at a fee, food, eating at food banks in Toronto, where there are 256 homeless encampments. Haven't the Liberals learned that taxing away doctors, taxing away home builders, taxing away the entrepreneurs who, who make paychecks is economic wackoness? So he went through a lot there, but I mean, just one of the issues that has become a serious problem in Canada is a shortage of doctors. Not enough people have a family doctor. In fact, there's about 6 million Canadians who don't have a family doctor. And I wonder if this will make it worse, because don't forget, doctors in Canada are also a business, a business subject to capital gains tax. Doctors warn that capital gains tax hike could impact care. Some Canadian doctors warned that the Liberal government's new capital gain tax increase could push more doctors out of family medicine for financial reasons at a time when millions of Canadians don't have a family doctor. Did I mention about how Trudeau makes everything worse? And worse isn't good enough for Trudeau either. It's got to be terrible. Canada's family doctor shortage, 10 million, will soon lack access to primary care. In 2020, 90.5% of Canadians had access to primary care. In 2023, it's 86%. It's gone down by 4.5% in three years. And primary care doesn't count just family doctors. It's also walk-in clinics, which aren't the same thing as a family doctor. But I'm sure that Canada's finance oompa loompa, Christian Freeland, has something totally sensible to say about it. Mr. Speaker, we all certainly learned something yesterday. After eight weeks of dithering and evasion, we learned which side the Conservatives are on. They had a chance to be very clear and say a teacher or a welder should not pay tax at a higher rate than a multimillionaire. But they just couldn't help themselves. At the end of the day, the Conservatives are always on the side of those at the very top and always against working people. That's what we saw yesterday. Oh, I see. So it's the conservatives that are on the side of the very, very wealthy. And it's the liberals who are helping out the working man. Oh, well, that is so noble of them, isn't it? Well, hold on one second. That welders won't have to pay this tax. Only the 0.13% wealthiest. Well, all the economists uh, contradict that. The fact that she has 300,000 businesses that she admits will be taxed and all of their owners will be taxed, contradicts that as well. So there's one way we could solve this controversy. Will she com commit to put in law that no one in the bottom 99.87% will pay any new taxes? The Honorable Deputy Prime Minister. already demonstrated his financial illiteracy. That's he doesn't understand how the capital gains inclusion rate works. Oh, so that means that it's not just the very wealthiest, is it? It's in fact going to be hundreds of thousands of small businesses, as well as people who just like inherit a house from their parents. And of course, as we've already seen, doctors are saying this is going to be a big problem for them at a time when we can't afford to lose any more doctors. But you go right ahead, Liberal Party of Canada. Keep being smug and vapid right up until Election Day. Please.
Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sharing really helps me out, and I thank you for that. I will see you next time.